Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering Crypt. He made his first appearance in Profit, issue number seven in September of 1994. He stands six feet five inches tall, has an unknown weight, but has red eyes and no hair. Now his original name was John Prophet, and Crypt is an alternate version from the future of Prophet. Crypt possesses vast superhuman strength and is able to go toe to toe with Supreme, who is a character from the Image Comics universe that's supposed to be a likeness of Superman, but is far more overpowered than Kal-El is. If you remember from my video on Supreme, he could actually lift the weight of the universe. Now, take this into consideration when I tell you the character Crypt beat Supreme extremely badly. I'm talking he didn't even just break his back, but he completely shattered his spine. These are the power levels that we're talking about when we talk about Crypt. Now, like I stated a second ago, the character Crypt is actually an alternate future version of the character Prophet. In this timeline, Prophet isn't the man that has strong righteous convictions and a strong belief in God, but he's an individual that had become corrupt and completely evil. During his murderous rampage, Crypt ventured throughout time, and at one point during the modern day, he arrived and met a young woman named Judas, taking her under his wing and giving her superpowers. He trained her well and even trusted her with his life, at one point even educating her on how to take his essence and to introduce it to a clone of the modern day prophet just in case he was ever killed. When the original crypt was killed, Judas did as he instructed her and his essence ended up changing the clone prophet into his new body. He took on the goal of killing his modern day counterpart prophet and this led to them having heated battle. But ironically, when Judas turned against him, he ended up killing her, although he felt she was like a daughter to him. After this, he was completely off the chains and ended up joining the forces of hell under Lord Chapel. The powers of hell ended up increasing his already vast superhuman powers, and that's when he ended up battling Supreme, badly beating him, shattering his spine and leaving him for dead. From there, he went on to have conflicts with everyone who was aligned good. This included the Youngblood team, New Men and Bloodstrike. This campaign against anything righteous and good continued all the way up until his master was defeated and then he disappeared, never to be heard from again. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Image Comics universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Crypt a rating of 8, which is an unforgettable rating. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.